All right, what's up? Welcome to this video. So today I'm just gonna briefly go over some new boots I got. I'm sure if you guys also watch other clothing YouTubers, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And yeah, but anyways, I, I uh, had seen these boots on uh, Ray's YouTube videos a while back, I think. And like, I would see them every once in a while and pop them on Instagram on my Explore page. And then a few weeks ago, they had popped up on my Explore page. And I was like, oh damn, like I guess they're out. I wanna see if they have any of my, like any sizes left because I was thinking that they probably sold out. And uh, luckily they only had one size left and that was a size 12, which is my size. So uh, I sat on it for like a day or two because I was like, do I want these boots? Um, just kind of thinking about it. And then, yeah, I bought them and I think it might have been the last one. So then once I bought them, then they are all sold out after that. So yeah, if you guys want like a, a very in-depth look at them, you can just go to Ray's YouTube video. He released one about the boots, I think prior to dropping them. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go over what I like about them, some things I might dislike, and then I'll just show you how they came packaged, the box, a little bit of closer look at some parts of it, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna show you the box that it comes in, and it's just this big box, and on the front it says Aura New York, and then on the side here, I'll show you the description for the shoe and uh, sizing. And then if we open the box, we just get standard tissue paper. Goes in there. You get a little card for the Vibram sole. I'll show you here. That comes in there. Um, I didn't read it, but it's nice to have. And then it comes with a little boot bag. That's it. All right, what's up everyone? Um, if things look a little bit different, it's because I had to go do something for a few hours. So this is just a few hours later. It's still the same day. But uh, yeah, that's why things might look slightly different. But uh, I don't remember where I left off in the video exactly, but I think, I think I hadn't even started showing the boot yet. So honestly, there isn't like a ton for me to say about the boot. I think a lot of it you can just see in the photos. And if you've watched this, you've definitely seen the photos of the boot before. But uh, I'll just get into a little bit about the boot. And then I'll just like talk about what I like and things I might dislike about it. So let me show the boot up close real quick and just briefly go over it. But uh, it's basically just like a tumbled leather. You can see it's pebbly on the front or on the entire upper of the boot. And then let me focus it. You can see it has eight eyelets. It has like these D loops here. It has some like hooks here and then it just has some regular eyelets in the middle there. Um, the laces are just like a very standard ropey wax kind of lace and then the end of the lace has a metal aglet I think they're called. I think I learned that from Phineas and Ferb. I'm pretty sure it's an aglet. Might be wrong. And then the bottom is just a very chunky Vibram sole. You can see that the heel is pretty chunky. I measured it with the ruler when I first got it just because I was interested in it. And I think it was like two inches there. And then just around the sole and the upper you have like a olive green kind of stitching there. So that's like a nice little touch. And then on the back, I think this was a big thing also. We have a zipper on the back. It makes it a lot easier to put the boot on. Just zip it down, basically slip it on and zip it back up. All right, so in terms of like the construction of the boot, it's definitely very well constructed. Like it's super solid. The, the leather is super thick and the sole is super chunky and nice. I've worn it, I think two times now. And I'd say that they're pretty, they're super comfortable. Um, I didn't really get any like blisters or anything. Like there was not really that much of a break-in period, I'd say. I think that if I continue wearing them a little bit more, they'll definitely get a lot more comfortable. I think considering like the price point, um, I think it'd be hard to find a boot that's a lot better than this if you're looking at stores like on Essence and like other military boots that are from designer brands and are looking to have like this kind of construction. I think it'd definitely be hard to find a better boot, but if you are looking for a similar boot that's like a lower price point, Doc Martens would definitely be the go-to. But other than that, if you are looking at more expensive boots, these are probably the ones that you should get. Like, just judging off the construction of the boot, and if you're taking into consideration other high-end designer brands, I think that they are definitely a good boot to get. All right, what's up everyone? Anyways, it's a few days later, and uh, I just wanted to quickly throw in like a fit that I would wear with the boots. Just a quick fit, just to show how they look 
on like when I'm wearing them because I think that helps a lot when people want to see how some shoes fit and how they look with different um, clothing pieces so right now I just have on regular old tee but then I have some flare pants on these are uh, capital flare jeans I think they're called so they have a few colors of these I think they have like a burgundy kind of wine color they have these like olive green kind of ones that I have on right now and then they have like a like a duck canvas kind of color so uh, I got these a few days ago at a store called H Lorenzo in our district which is like in downtown Los Angeles because I want to try them on first before I bought them I'm just gonna throw the boots on with this fit real quick and then I'll show you how how it looks